Hello. I am first finally filming on my new phone and please bear with me because this video is not quick right and it is also oh these shoulders are annoying me <laughs> this video is also um if you know me you all know I'm somewhat of a traveller and you're probably like looking at this thinking what that's false you probably you, you might think this is quick wait okay it's not you will see the development you will see a story in this video you will understand you will get explanations as to the title and understand that even as a traveler this is not clickbait I remember being in like primary school and when our goals were mentioned and like what would you like to be doing in 10 years and like most of my class I remember being like traveling the world and I was thinking that's not part of my plan so off the back of that going to the US definitely was part, wasn't part of my plan if traveling the world or traveling wasn't even in my mind going to the US wasn't in my head at all so that's reason one reason two my dad went to America a few times before I was born he went to Walt Disney World he always said when I was younger and to my mum that he always wanted to take me to Walt Disney World but because he died when I was a young age, I didn't get to go with him and experience it with him because I was only four when he died. Um, obviously, he wanted me to be a bit older to experience it properly and enjoy Walt Disney World properly and take all of it in. But as I said, because he died when I was four, um, we didn't get to go when I was a good age. So that is reason number two why. I haven't been to the US, why I, I, I just, I think off the back of that, I just felt like I just wanted to go with my dad and experience it, but obviously that wasn't part of the plan in the end, was it? We're getting somewhere now, reason number eight three um when i did start traveling off my own back my own accord my own money you know as an adult no one in the us actually interested me enough to think yeah i want to go there that's that's nowhere was in the us was on my bucket list so reason number three excuse me reason number three that i have never been to the us reason number four is so typical of me once the us certain places not just the us as a place but certain places were actually on my bucket list i was already too far into other holidays so i had like maybe like three years of holidays lined up so i was never never making any immediate plans to go to the us so it was time for other holidays so I didn't have also the money to put into either just spontaneously going to the US or planning that far ahead to go to the US. So yeah, number four, time, money and uh, going to a lot of other places instead. <laughs> number five, I guess, is an update for, I guess, social media followers and friends when i finally decided i wanted to go to the us and where and where on the book on my bucket list in the us i wanted to go first and i had the time and the money and i booked to go to the us i was finally going to go so this video would not have been a thing 
blood and coronavirus. That meant US borders are shut to the likes of us in the UK, which means Reason number five, I have not been to the US, is because <laughs> coronavirus. So there are my five reasons, non-clickbait, as why I haven't been to the US. So it was firstly because I didn't want to, and now it's because I can't. <laughs> uh, one day, one day I'll get there. Let's hope I don't completely get put off the IP beforehand, which I doubt it. Um, stay on the lookout for more videos because I hope in the near future, <laughs> near might be pushing it, that I will be putting up some travel videos. We'll see. <laughs> if you enjoy that kind of content, wish me luck and keep an eye out. Thank you for watching this. Bye.